calling all foodies happening this weekend in Midland, a big event just for uh, folks who love great food and uh, they're going to help a charity at the same time. Joining us is uh, Janine Oderkirk. She is from the Shelter House of Midland and Gladwin Counties. Yes. And also uh, Chef Bill. Bill is uh, Bill LaFrance, uh, who's from Chefs for the Shelter House. He is uh, from the Holiday Inn, though. Yes. Welcome, Bill. How Hi. tall are you, Bill? Six, seven. Six, seven. <laughs> He's a big one. All right, let's get right into this event. Uh, before we get into you cooking, Janine, real quick, what is Chefs of the Shelter House? What is this? Chefs for Shelter House yeah. is a fundraising event for Shelter House in Midland, mm -hmm. and it's next Thursday um, at the 23rd from 5 to 8 at night. It is uh, 15 area chefs who will um, share their talents. They donate their time and their food. And um, Well, it's great that you're doing this. Mm -hmm. Sounds delicious. Now, Bill, what are you making there? You've got, it looks like steak. Um, today it's uh, short ribs. Short ribs. And we're going to do a little twist on a, a short rib uh, cooking technique. So we're going to braise them, but we're going to stuff them too. So. All right. While you're making that, now you're at the Holiday Inn. Where, where is that? Uh, we're in Midland. Yeah, yep. yeah, main holiday in Midland. Yep. All right, and what's the restaurant called? It's called Big E's. Big E's. Yes. Now, who is Big E? Big <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's right. Else. That we remains a that. mystery. All so. right. We, we, not Big Bill, you know, you'd think no, it would no, be called no, Big no. Bills, right? Anyway, you're making short ribs, and this will be available at this event? Um, no, just something I whipped up. Oh, I something you whipped up. Right. We'll do something else for the, uh, what we'll do at the event. So give me a tip here for, for folks who are watching at home. All right. For, for this, is a, anytime we do a braise, we want to go low and slow. Low and slow. So low temperature, long time to break down the, the tendons and the, uh, the, the parts of the meat that uh, need to cook for a long time to make it very tender, uh, melt in your mouth. All right, so, you're going to hit that thing? So we're going to beat this. All right. We're going to have to wrap it up, Bill. We're going to have to check back with you a little cool. bit later in the broadcast. Uh, be careful with that thing, young. The last guy was here. Hurt his finger. Is it really? Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Uh, we'll check back with you later. Well, calling all foodies, there is a big event happening in Midland, and we're going to tell you all about it this morning. With me in studio, Chef Bill of France from the Holiday Inn in Midland, and also Janine Outerkirk from the Shelter House. The event is called Chefs for Shelter House. Janine, tell us a little bit about it. Chefs for Shelter House is a fundraiser to raise money to help victims of domestic and sexual violence. That's all we do, and the money is essential to be able to um, serve those people. With the chefs are uh, so gracious. They come, they cook, they, they donate their time and their talents and the food. So it is amazing. So you get free, f well, not free, but you get to taste amazing food. You get to help out an organization. It sounds like a win-win to me. So Chef Brad, earlier you showed us how to make these amazing short ribs. This place smells delicious, or Bill. Um, now you're gonna show us how to make uh, some key lime pie. And these will actually, what you're yeah, serving, we'll be, right? Yeah, we'll be doing these for on um, next Thursday with uh, a little key lime pie juice, some egg yolks, and some uh, condensed milk. And, and that's what we have going on, stirring up in this so pot. There, and then we're going to just take these. And we'll now, could you buy these, or did you make these? I ones? made these, but you could buy They're these. They're so cute yeah, little. You can make big ones. Uh, um, a graham cracker crust would work okay. well here, too. So. so after you get your mixture together, you're just going to go ahead and pour it in we're here? We're going to pour them in. Now, next week, we'll make about 700, 800 of these 700. things. 700? So, you know. How do you get? How do you prepare for a massive group like that? Uh, a lot of planning, uh -huh. uh, a lot of prep. So, but it, you know, it's fun. We have a good time doing it. Mm -hmm. It's always a nice time. And how does it make you feel knowing that you're donating your time for such an amazing cause? Um, I I love it. So I get to cook. <laughs> I get to uh, do for a, a cause, uh, and I get to be here with you two lovely ladies. Oh, so, okay, I'll take that compliment He's been doing it for a few day. years yeah. as well. So. Janine, has the crowd grown every year it that has. you guys have done it? We used to have it at the Midland Center for the Arts. We've outgrown that facility and mm -hmm. had to move to the Great Hall in Midland. And we have over last year over 700 guests, and it's an amazing time. Okay, and if people are interested in checking it out, just head to our website, mybcnews.com, and uh, the event's happening next Thursday, correct? Yes. Next yeah. Thursday, all the details will be there. And don't worry, I will taste these for you <laughs> and let you know if they're okay. But I'm, remember, I'm doing it all for you. Joe.